I want to talk a little bit about associativity. Now, one of my favorite things to do is figure out different ways to associate geometry most people are unaware of. Now, here, I'm going to use some points. So if I go in and I create some points, and you'll notice that I have inferred points set. I have all my different options for points. And for this, I'm just going to leave it on inferred point. And I'm going to basically drop a few points on my absolute. So I'll just go over here, over here. With my four points drawn in, I'm going to use these as a reference for creating my studio spline. I'm going to use bipoles, and now it allows me to specify my points that I want. So I'm going to come in here, I'm going to pick this point, I'm going to pick this point, and what you'll notice is around each one of those points I have a little constraint. That little circle that appears around that point is indicating that it is constrained. Once I have those drawn, I'm going to turn off constraint to plane. I don't need that because I have my four points on that plane. And I'm just going to simply select OK. What this allows me to do now is if I go in, you can look at my model navigator. Here are my various points. These are my XY locations. If I come into this XY location and say I want this to be at 35, for instance, you'll notice that as soon as I hit my enter, that point moves, it adjusts, and so does the spline. What this allows me to do is it allows me now to modify my geometry numerically. I know a lot of you are saying that, well, this is a styling intent behind my model. And necessarily, yes, styling intent behind my model does not have a numerical value. There's a lot of times when you need to meet a specific requirement. Uh, just recently I was working in a, uh, I guess the rear portion of a SUV and in the stowage area there was a requirement to have something at an exact width per a requirement that they had. It had to, had to fit a sheet of plywood four foot wide couldn't be any wider and it couldn't be any narrower so I had to meet an exact width so when I drew my spline in I had to make sure that my spline or whatever reference geometry I was drawing in had to be at a location so I was able to draw in my point link my spine to that point and then uh, that point became my hard point so if I had to make a modification to something I knew that spline at that end point would not move period. And if I didn't make, need to make a modification to it for some reason or another, they needed additional clearance or whatever it was, I can go in there and modify that point with the one mil or the two mil additional clearance that they ended up coming and asking for. And because it was an exact, it was a definite hard number, I was able to go in and modify that using this technique. So it's, it's, uh, it's a really good, robust method of making things. I can double click on that point and move the point to a new location and it goes along. And if I double click on that spline, you'll notice that those control points are still locked in, not going anywhere. Another thing is that because of the method that I'm using, if I'm doing something that requires a specific um, shape or a specific um, uh, aerodynamic property that an aerial group may give me. And a lot of times you have a loft group that works with an engineering group that does aerodynamics and they specify, hey, this has to be the shape. Well, then you, they give you those points, they plot those points out, and then, then all you have to do is run your spline through those points. If ever those points change, you can then make those modifications quick and easy without having to reconstruct everything and you get the exact location as it's needed. So this is just one little hint, one little tip that I use when I'm making geometry. And it allows me quick, fast, and easy edits. And what's another thing that's really great about this is if for some reason I wanted to do something crazy with it. So here are my 
my my coordinate locations of set point you know I may be able to go in there and and say I want this alright so I yeah I can control this spline pretty much any way that I want 